Hi guys, Russell here from Primation Fitness. In this video I wanted to share a tip with police applicants who are waiting to do their official fitness test at the police academy. Quite often you'll wait months for that date to arrive, but it's not uncommon for you to get a letter during the week, say on a Monday or a Tuesday, to say that your official fitness test is on that, uh, that coming Sunday. So you need to be ready to go. Now, one of the things that you need to have prepared are some documents to help prove your identity when you turn up for the official test. Now, there's three separate categories that you need to be able to find these documents from, so let's have a quick look at those now. Okay, so in the first category, you'll need to be able to produce an original, either full birth certificate, a passport, or an Australian citizenship certificate. So you'll need one of those original documents. You'll also need an original document from Category 2, so they are things such as a driver's licence, maybe a learner's permit, or a proof of age uh, or key pass. Okay, in Category 3 you're going to need a identification card issued by a student or tertiary uh, institution, um, a stat deck signed by a current Victoria Police member who's known you as an applicant for no less than 12 months, uh, a Victorian Firearms Licence, a Medicare card or a healthcare card is a document from Category 3. So you can choose any one of those, but you have to produce original documents, one from Category 1, one from Category 2, and an original document from Category 3. You can't produce things like um, bank cards, you know, your ATM card, a MasterCard, Visa, etc. You can't produce those things. Okay, it's important, of course, that you identify yourself so that they know that you haven't sent your best friend along who's some super athlete, and they're going to do the fitness test for you. So just a little heads up, I didn't want you to get caught out with that. So things like uh, original birth certificates can be a little bit tricky to find if, uh, if you're not a very organised person, so just a little heads up. Up, make sure you've got all that stuff ready to go because despite waiting for months to do your fitness test you may only get a week's notice um, that the official date has arrived for you so you want to be prepared okay guys well I hope that's helpful just a couple of quick dates to finish off this video uh, well done to those people who came climbing up the hill on Sunday it was a fantastic day beautiful weather some you know great turnout from uh, from the group and uh, we had a really good workout and it was a terrific view at the top as always um, so well done to those people uh, next Sunday, the 10th, we're back to normal at our Croydon Athletics Track training session and the following week is the 17th of March and that'll be our first uh, fitness test rehearsal at the Bronya Primary School uh, on the 17th of March. So if you're interested in coming along to any of those, just give us a buzz um, at the office or send us an email. And on that, we've recently changed our phone number, new phone system, so um, I'll put the number at the bottom of the screen here, but we'll be sending out an email shortly just to update all our members uh, about that new phone number. Okay guys, well I hope you found that helpful. Until the next video, keep your foot on the gas and I'll see you then.